Now what I really like to tie out here, Kevin, is these uh, orange and chartreuse with a little bead head, man, I tell you. For some reason, I think it just it, it just gets them going early in the season. A little orange head, a little chartreuse, maybe pink mixed in there with the tail, and a little bead. I just say Easter colors are the way to go. You know? So what I got here is my uh, favorite little bead-headed, cheap and easy shad fly. My favorite is the orange and the chartreuse, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Basically what I like to use, I like to use a uh, size 6 or 8 hook. It could be Aberdeen or gold. I like something that bends in case I get a rock. I'm going to put a bead or a uh, cone head. Right here I'm showing you with the cone head. So this cone head, you always got to make sure it's pointed at the front. Alright, cinch it on in here. I fast forward this for you, but I like to put a nice little base layer of thread in. And after I throw that base layer in there, the main thing you're going to be using here is some uh, crystal flash. I got this uh, chartreuse. Chartreuse right here is my favorite. You're going to cut about like four and a half to five inches off. You know, extra, extra is not a bad thing because basically you're building your body up with this. So you want to get it nice, straighten it out. Get a nice little snip in. And then you start, uh, you know, you lay it down here. So, as you can see, I'm kind of keeping the tail straight. I'm going to cut it off anyways, but I pinch it with my thumbs. When you've got a lot of chenille out the front, it's tough, so you're going to manage it. Cinch it down, and I just wrap it up. And when I get to about halfway down, right here, what I do is I twist it. And it's kind of like ribbing or whatever you want to call it, but it builds a body up and gives it some texture. I don't know. I don't know if the fish prefer it, but I think it looks good on my flies. And so then I wrap it down, cinch that back down on the bend. And here I just kind of flip it over to the top and straighten her out and, you know, tighten her down. So what you'll see here is you want to get like about not even a half an inch of a tail. These shad are really particular. If there's one thing that's going to get them off, it's going to be the length of the tail. So we put a little quick little snip in there and I slowly wrap back up. You know, I'm trying to keep that uh, chartreuse body as real as I can keep it. And uh, not too far, but I'm going to give it about a quarter of an inch of a head. And I like to use this uh, Staz. I'm telling you, my favorite color combination is this orange Staz head with a nice chartreuse tail. <clears throat> you don't need much, but you just want to get the nip end of it, pop it on there, cinch that on down, get up the top, and then all you're going to do here is just wrap that around real nice. Yep. Just like you kind of do with a slump buster or something, but this fly right here, I mean, all you got to do is really three materials, a bead head or a cone, your chartreuse flash, and your orange chenille head. I mean, it, you can get a zillion flies out of it and you can serve, but really, I mean, this is about as cheap and easy as you can get. You know, right here, I like to tie mine with a finger hitch. A lot of guys like to, you know, use their tools, but I'm old school style right here, but that's all you need. I do about three of those, about one, two, three, four, five times around. Cinch her down, and then you just push that head up under there if you're using a cone. A bead, you don't really need to fix, but that's my favorite fly, and this is how we catch them on it, right about here. Maybe. Jeez, oh, Pete! Dang, is that just a hefty female? I think that's a big... You think that's one of those early run females? Yeah. Yeah, she looks like an early run oh, female. Oh, man. But she looks like an 18, but she's, she's good. Put her on the board! Put her on the board! Oh, get her on the boat! Here we go. Real shot action here. Hicks hooks at you. All right. 